back to The Sims 3 Sunset Valley Inhabitants Part 5. So today we are with the, I believe it's pronounced Coffee family. We are with Gobias Coffee. Um, he, oh that's so sad, his only family member is his father who has passed away. Um, so yeah, he's kind of a little bit of a loner, but Gobias's lifetime wish is to reach level five in four different career tracks. He is a Capricorn, has 19 days till he's an elder. He likes pop music, fruit parfait, and the color pink. He is over emotional, flirty, a loser, never nude, and childish. He's currently level four in the science career, and it looks like that's his only job so far. Oh, excuse me. And he's a level four gardening, level three handiness. He's got a couple fruits in his inventory. And when it comes to friendships, he really doesn't have any, honestly. Like, he knows the Frio brothers, he knows the wolves, and then his boss is Boyd. Um, so that's really all there is about Gobias. But there's something kind of interesting about him that, unless you read the description of his family, you probably wouldn't know. So let's go read that. So if you come out here to Edit Town and you have all these different households you can select, there has a little um, description of the people. Gobias Coffee is a well-meaning, singled sim who just hasn't met the right woman. Is that because he actually prefers the company of his male friends? So the way I take that is that Gobias is secretly in the closet and he is just scared to come out. So I think we're going to kind of focus on him um getting with a man and maybe having his first kiss with a guy and i already kind of have the perfect sim in mind i think it goes really well with the little storyline i'm building for this town so we're gonna go ahead and continue um and jump into some gameplay and i do just want to say i have turned aging off so from now on the rest of the time we play with these sims they will be the original age they were when the game started. But I did make a few minor changes to his look and his house at the beginning of this video. So I'll just show you a little more up close. I absolutely hated his hair. So instead of the little, um, what's that called? Like the, when he's missing the middle of his hair, I just gave him bald. I didn't want to change him, like make him some player looking guy because he is an older guy. So I just gave him this hair and I gave him a mustache and goatee or whatever that's called no that's not a goatee a goatee is skinny a beard or whatever um i don't like the look of just a mustache i think it looks a little creepy and then i gave him a new shirt because the one he had was just a little too out there and the rest of his clothes are the same as for his furniture i changed his wall color because it was like pink and just didn't really seem like him i put a picture up here instead of 85 mirrors that was originally here I changed out his nightside table, changed the color of this coffee table, added a TV in his bedroom, and then over here I just changed it to a nicer looking bathtub. I wasn't really a fan of the one they had. I added a shower in the downstairs bathroom. Let me actually turn on all the freaking lights and set all the intensity to bright. Um, so yeah, I added a shower in the kitchen. I added a microwave and then changed out the um, chairs because I just didn't like them and then in the living room I gave him a nicer TV and I think that's it we only have about a thousand swellions left so I'm not too worried about um, changing too much but we're gonna go ahead and start with um, some yogurt I guess does he work today he does not work today which is actually perfect he doesn't work today and then tomorrow is leisure day so the two days we're playing with him he doesn't work so it's literally perfect so i'm just gonna go ahead and get him ready for the day and then probably send him to the summer festival maybe we can try and meet some guys um yeah i think that would be good for him i think you know he needs to just realize why is he crying? Oh, because he's over emotional. I was like, literally, what do you have to cry about? Um, but yeah, just have him meet some guys. You know, it's 2021. People are more open and accepting with him being gay. So maybe he'll go meet a nice man. We'll meet a nice man. Or maybe a not so nice man and we'll be in a be stuck in a, a uh, abusive relationship. Ooh, the tea. The drama. Okay, so now that he's done eating, let's head on to the summer festival. 
Oh, the time portal is out here. I still think it's so weird that this is a one bedroom, but four bathroom. That's just insane to me. Any hoosie, we're off in our big lemon to the festival. Hopefully people will be here. It is like 10 a.m. on a Wednesday, so normal people are probably at work, but like, you know, it is what it is. Take a greeting card photo? No. Play horseshoes? Probably not. Oh my god, there's a robber. Love that. Love to see it. Alright, are there any men here? Of course, when I come here looking for men, we're only going to get women. But when I come here looking for women, you know I get nothing but men. Don't you just love how that works? Alright, so. Oh my god. Why is he working? Okay, anyways. Moving swiftly along. It's literally only women. That is so annoying. Oh, who's this? Who are you? Jeffrey Landgrab. Let's go give him a friendly introduction. Pretty sure he's married, but like, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> like, it does not matter. So we'll just, you know, YOLO it. <clears throat> we'll just go for it. All right, so let's just kind of get to know him, you know, just because just because he's here doesn't mean he has to be the one you know we can get to know him see if we get along with him see if we're old enough to be his dad because that would be a little bit awkward we'll just do all the funny stuff he is also childish so that oh he's a hopeless romantic oh love to see it and he's family oriented oh my god we just learned so much about him in one interaction amazing he is married to nancy Honestly, I don't even know why I have him here meeting people because I literally already know who he's going <laughs> to, who he's going to, his first male kiss is going to be with. But anyways, oh my gosh, why am I getting all these notifications? My settings, um, end rounds, story progression. Enable progression. Yeah, it should be off. I don't know why people are like progressing in life. Like, oh my God, don't progress in life without me. <laughs> All right. Okay, sorry. I have a group chat with all my siblings and there were a couple messages I was behind on. So I was just catching up on those. Oh, y'all saw that, right? Miss Jamie Jolina walking around pregnant. <sighs> Jamie, I hate you. Oh, she's really pregnant. Look at her. Oh, no. Oh, God. Jamie. I hate her. I love her, but I hate her. Loki want her to go into labor now. Oh, he's only one day younger than us. Okay, so he's not young enough to be our son. Perfect. Hank, quit working out. We really found out a lot about him real quick. But the person I actually want him to, like, meet and get to know is not home. He's probably at work, which is really sad. But I think he should be done by, like, 5, and he works, like, right here. So maybe we'll just hang out at the park for a while. Or maybe, actually, Jeffrey would be a good one because they are getting to know each other so quickly. And he, like, he's already learned three of his traits. He knows his job, his sign. Like, Jeffrey, I know you're married, but, like, is there something you want to tell me? Um, let's chat with him, get to know him. We'll gossip with him. Um... We'll be funny again. I know funny gets your social up or your um, relationship up really fast. So we'll be just super funny. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and actually, I know I said, I feel so bad because I keep going back and forth. I know I said I was going to spend two parts with every sim, with every family. But I think possibly depending on the sim and the storyline I want to go for, I could do more or less. So with Gabias, I actually might only spend this one part on him just because it, he's so like, 
it's just one sim in the household and it's such a easy like thing that I want to accomplish with him like we could definitely accomplish this in one day okay so oh my god oh incompatible trait what's his loser how are you oh yeah the loser trait was incompatible you know what that's fine you've already learned four traits about him if one is not like consistent with each other that's totally fine um anyways ask to pose we love that oh no no don't flirt with him not yet boo it's too soon goof around we'll see how he likes that get to know him again we will ask about his alma mater please don't be leaving okay share a secret and sh not tag shock a bra there we go I just want you guys to be friends. Be friends, please. But yeah, I think with... He wants to pillow fight with him. We love that. I think depending on the family and what I want to do with them, it might differ for how many parts I spend with each family. But on average, it'll probably be two. But like I said with Gabias, we'll probably only spend today because what I want to do, he's going to accomplish today. Can we pillow fight with him yet? I honestly... Never. Oh, she gave birth. Dang it. I was hoping she wouldn't give birth until tomorrow. Thornton is now the father of a new baby boy. Jamie just gave birth to a baby boy named Quinetton? Quin Quinton? Okay. Okay. So Thornton has a kid with Jamie. Um, we still don't know if Morgana is pregnant or not. I never saw her. Um, I don't think she is because normally she would have changed clothes, but yeah, Thornton has a baby with Jamie and not with his wife. How terrible is that? How freaking terrible. Okay. So we're just going to keep having them get to know each other. Um, can I pillow fight yet? That's not an option. So maybe not. Maybe we'll just speed through this. We're probably going to have to invite him back over to our house because um, we can't be flirting with a married man at the park. Everyone would see. So let's actually go ahead and form a group. And let's see. Pillow fight is still not an option. That's kind of annoying. Honestly, there are some days where I just want to stay in my pajamas and eat cookies. Boy, literally me every weekend. Every weekend. Ask to move in. Oh, my gosh. Let's express fondness and ask about his day. <gasps> oh, excuse me. And then we'll go back to his house with our group. Cool. Let's chill. Thanks. This random man I met at the park at 12. I'm glad we're good friends now. I'm glad we're such good friends. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, we can't be uh, flirting with a married man. At the public park where everyone can see. They should be here in a second, so I'm just going to speed through this. Oh my gosh, and his garden. We need to take care of his garden because literally everything is ready to be harvested. Also, what is this? Like, I probably would have deleted these two if I saw them. Like, why are they there? Literally, why are they there? That's so extra and it's doing nothing. I swear, some of these houses, especially in this town because this was like the OG town and... When did The Sims come out? 2009? Some of these houses are a little crazy. Um, so let's just go in with a flirt and see what he does. Okay, well, you're going to do it right on the road. Oh, who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Igbal. I love the Alvi. Is that how you say their last name? Alvi family. Love them. No, he didn't. Oh, my God. I did not expect that. Okay. Let's compliment his appearance, compliment his personality. We'll give him a little hug. Um, flirtatious joke. <gasps> I did not expect that at all, you guys. Okay, I don't know if he liked that one. Oh, okay, but he's hugging us. He's hugging us. We love to see it. Okay, he's not liking that. Let's see if he will go skinny dipping with us. Wait, can we ask him to skinny dip? Um, let's give him a friendly hug. Just try and be... Wait, did he leave the date? He left the date. 
He left the date. No, don't shriek. We're going to go skinny dipping inside, and then we're going to ask him to join us. No, no, no. Jeffrey, do not leave. Goodbye, us. Get the F in there so I can ask him to join. <gasps> Good. Uh, what's your name? Jeffrey, no. Ask him to pose. <laughs> then he can't leave. Ask to join. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, you can stop posing. No, Jeffrey! You can stop posing. Just please come here. No, Jeffrey, come join, please, Jeffrey. Okay, get the hell over here. No, he just got in his car, he's driving away, we're stalking him. Well, he's a land grab, he's gotta live out here. Wait, did he not go home? Invite him over. Please, oh, you know, he might have gone to work because he is um, in the medical field. So maybe he works, he's like that one, one level in the medical field. They work like 7 to 3, 7 p.m. to 3 a.m. Okay, he's on his way over. Hopefully we can get a shower in before he gets back. I'm so angry that he just ended the date after one flirt and then dipped out when we tried to go skinny dipping. Okay, you're not going to get in the shower, but it's fine. Invite him inside. So maybe maybe he'll take your flirting a little bit better if he's in the house where not the whole world can see him. Can you come over here? Like, literally, dude, come in the house. You're so annoying. Okay. Oh, my God. They're both in their swimwear. We love to see it. Go ahead and do a flirtatious joke. See what he says. Oh, he's like, oh, shirtless, shirtless Gabias. I love it. Okay, so let's get to know him. Ask him to spend the night in a friendly way. Give him a friendly hug. It looks like we need to become best friends with him. So if you guys don't know, I know I say it a lot, but if a Sim is married, typically, not always, but typically you need to be best friends with them before you can do anything romantic. And then I found that if they're engaged, you only really need to be good friends. And then if they're in a relationship, you only really need to be friends. And then obviously if they're single, you can start flirting right away and most of them will take it. So just a little FYI if you're trying to steal someone's man's or woman's, you never know. All right, so you guys, thanks for inviting me over. Perfect. Can we pillow fight now that we're here? Ask to pillow fight. We love to see it. Oh, Gabias, you are so hungry. I'm sorry. This is going to look so... Are they going in his... Oh, my God. They're going in his bedroom in their swimsuits, pillow fighting. I'm sorry, but it, it does not get more... <laughs> oh, my God. <coughs> that was such a weird noise. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's try flirting with him again. Honestly, he might just take the flirting because he's flirty. Oh, I think they just became best friends. That they did. Flirtatious joke. Looks like it's just Gabias and Jeffrey. Okay, okay. He's taking a lot more than what he was before. We'll give him a hug. We'll hold his hands. We'll compliment his appearance. We'll compliment his personality. Gabias, I know you're starving, but, like, I literally just need you to kiss him. Okay, he's taking the hand-holding. We love this. I love this. I just need you to have your first kiss with a man so you can realize you're gay. <gasps> he wants to kiss Jeffrey. Yes, bitch. First kiss. Honestly, they are cute together. And you can't tell me they're not. I know he's married with kids, but, like, they are cute together. So I'm going to go ahead and get Gabias ready for bed. It's basically going to be eat, shower, go to bed. And then I'm going to end this part here. So we were actually able to accomplish his, um, or not his wish, but my desires for him in one part. So I think we're actually going to end this here at this one part. 
Um, but in the next part, we are going to be moved on to a new family. You can probably guess who it's going to be, but in case, we'll leave it a surprise. But we're, yeah, we're going to move on to a new family in the next part. And if you guys did enjoy this, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. Definitely let me know what families you'd like to see relatively sooner as opposed to later. Um, I kind of have an idea of who I want to play with and somewhat in what order. Uh, but if you guys let me know what you want to see, I will definitely do that for you. And go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already because that would be so wonderful. And I will see all of your lovely, lovely faces in my next video. Bye, guys. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down